boy, oh boy, oh boy. Here she comes. <laughs> well, somebody took it as an invasion. Hey, you you want to take it outside? Because I'll take it outside. Ah! They settled, and the weather in the beginning was gorgeous. <laughs> That's how the blissful days of December went. Enjoying warm summer days at the beach, going to Corpus Christi and exploring new city attractions during the colder time. They have a very quiet museum of Asian culture in Corpus Christi. It's very small and limited under exhibits, yet has some very beautiful pieces in it. We love this interactive experience. We drove about 25 miles along the undeveloped shoreline and reached the Shell Beach. I was able to replace a broken necklace with a beautiful piece made by nature in carnivorous snails who drilled the holes in the shell. We were also looking for the most beautiful seeds on the earth. Howdy! These are some beans that come from Latin and Central America and they come from Africa and all that. They get washed up by the sea here. No, but seriously, they get, they, they get dropped on the ground, then rain, the rain brings them into the ocean, and the ocean drops them off here kilometers and kilometers away. This is called a heart, a sea heart. This is called a hamburger. Sea hearts unite and bond souls over the time, distance, and space. We saw a few coyotes picking up the dead fish of the shore. I was really surprised to find the bird of paradise flower at the university campus. So, we decided to check out the botanical garden. Those are the orchids, which meant to grow on the other plants. But they are not parasites. They capture everything they need from the air. And they have a talking parrot. He belongs to this lady who works for botanical garden. The police are coming. Be quiet, dog. Are you a monster? Say bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye! <laughs> when Julie is around, we always walk a lot. Sometimes we really needed to improvise while getting thirsty. Then it was time to check out the Laguna Atascosa and South Padre Island. We took a participation in the castle building for a bit and found out from this lovely family how to make a sand bowl. Apparently they took a lesson. With a special tool, this sand bowl weight reaches 18 pounds. It's so close to Mexico that it's not Texas, but Tejaso. They have even border patrol check on the road. Back to the Corpus Christi and the weather most suitable for museums. The South Texas Museum of Art has a beautiful location right on the water. We love the animal portraits on human bodies by French photographer Martin Roche. We even created some contemporary art by projecting our own body movement Captured by the camera and modified. <laughs> awesome. Merry Christmas, everybody. How y'all doing? <laughs> Sadly, you can see lots of signs like this at Port Aransas. The golf carts seem to be very popular over there. <laughs> we watched dolphins from the pier and the beautiful sunset. Important project: the bed extension for more family. Meanwhile, in the United Kingdom. In you go. We're in the pod now. Press the button to close the door. Doors. Press You're start. Going to terminal five. That's right. Takes five minutes. Right then. Off we go. No driver. Just us. Really. The Christmas day. You really never know who can you meet at the beach. Three weeks old bull came to make a beautiful hey. family Christmas pictures. Bye. So Bye. precious. And for those who are dreaming of a white Christmas, isn't it white enough? I believe you can call it Sand Angel. Oh, and finally, all I want for Christmas. not entire family, but close enough. That's all we dreamed about. Everybody loved driving the truck. What do you truck. like the four wheel drive? Just the way I like it. You really feel like a big man, don't you? <laughs> I planned for them to relive my Zululand experience riding the Bucky. But I never expected that to be on Olga's bucket list. But I swear on the vow! Oh. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> we found more treasures over there. Ah, this is the purse. And I was finally able to find unbroken sand oh. dollar. My daughter, do you face in the water? Oh, I can't find. What's right here? 
Texas State Aquarium was another gem of Corpus Christi which we covered with the entire crew. It feels like you have been to Caribbean, Mexico and so many other tropical areas. You can spend some time teasing some toothy fish. The dolphin show was amazing. But the chicken otter made the most lasting impression. While feeding stingrays made us all so clear. Why does it take so long for a giraffe to apologize? Because it takes so long to swallow his pride. <laughs> Good one, Eel. Good one. More animals ride back home. Havelina's big family strolling by in our neighborhood. Speaking of neighborhood, we kept harvesting those grapefruits because the men on the spiritual journey, Wade, didn't eat them for some reason. No shortage in firewood. So nice. <laughs> of the American fleet. The most sophisticated warship ever built. USS Lexington, nicknamed a Blue Ghost, is an aircraft carrier built during World War II and launched in September 1942. Since 1992, it has been docked in Corpus Christi. You can spend an entire day here without getting bored. Don't just watch, don't just film, we're under attack. <laughs> It's self-guided and most hands-on than any other museums. You can basically touch and feel everything. Quite easy to imagine yourself a marine, aviator or just any crew member on this ship. December 30th and I have a feeling... Segway tour in Corpus Christi was everybody's favorite. We have learned some new stuff from the future. I don't get very many arguments when I say that. Used some amazing routes, like going to the eco-friendly garden. Has anybody ever had a shot at tequila? Yeah. 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 <laughs> that's what that's made out of. Uh, for those of you that cook, this plant on your right is ginger. Oh. That girl's wild here all. And after just one and a half hour, we had our proficiency test. All passed. It was strange to walk after that. Yeah, this is Texas. No Ooh. comments here. <laughs> Next stop, escape room. <laughs> no, no, it might, might be sequence, might be sequence, sequence, sequence yeah. of four. Uh, this one, just green. Uh, it's... Uh -huh. And we had escaped with a spare time. The Thai restaurant was the well-deserved award. After all that physical and mental exercise, the food was quite delicious. Happy birthday, Patricia. <laughs> It was followed by the birthday cake. What a day! <laughs> the last day of 2017, the weather let us down and we had to change our plans of celebrating at the beach. And what is the better way to stay up than go bowling? Good thing we are not professionals who keep their emotions under control. We were so natural on our ups and downs and it was priceless experience. I really sucked at pool game and let my son and horse down. Slap at my competitive face as well. But if you really want to wake up and get your juices flowing, you should play a laser tag. It's an exercise and fun at the same time. 
pretty bizarre satisfaction in shooting at your own children, especially at your husband. <laughs> we did it twice and we're craving for more. Game over. Ah! A bit of fresh air, which was getting increasingly fresher and fresher. And we had to go back and join Ashi. Some people say you spend the whole year just as you meet it. We were laughing hysterically at the moment, but we weren't laughing the next day. When Julia was refused the boarding at the airport because her passport was too close to the expiration date. You know. We had no choice but jump into the car and go to the Dallas Canadian consulate. It wasn't filmed, but the funniest part of our journey was smuggling Ashi in the pet not friendly motel. He was meowing in the box while we pretended watching funny cat video and laughing hysterically. Ashi was fighting for his dear life and beat through August fingers in the box hole. He was quite happy in the room though. It's the Ross Tower. Oh, is it? Canadian officials were true to their reputation. Very nice, helpful and efficient. The white temporary passport was ready the very next day. And we had a chance to explore Dallas. Dallas is yet another big city with over a million in population. The history smells of cattle and oil. After JFK assassination, Dallas got the name City of Hate. They are very proud of many inventors. And yes, the laser tag came to life here. They claim that ATM machines started its history in Dallas. First silicon chip was also invented here. You can also visit graves of famous criminals Bonnie and Clyde. We had no interest in that. But we wanted to see the cattle drive sculpture. It's over 50 animals altogether. And I liked how all the visitors were thoroughly ignoring the sign, do not climb the sculpture. <laughs> Believe you or not, but people are actually saying I do in front of this eyeball. <laughs> the true discovery of Dallas was the Dick's Last Resort restaurant. It's actually a chain where you're supposed to be treated in very rude and obnoxious yeah. way. What's this? Can I take Nothing. a picture with in it? Right Nothing. 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 Noth
finally came back to our trailer. We had to check out what was declared a Texas treasure. <laughs> Much improved weather matters at the base camp. Nicholas came up with a fun project, which took over all the mind and space. We were back to South Padre Island just in time to watch the sea turtles release. That was an enormous rescue effort. And people saved about 2,000 sea turtles who suffered from hypothermia during the unusual for this place cold front. We were among the crowd of nearly 2,500 spectators who came to see that back to home release. That day they released about 400 turtles. And lucky for us, that was the only public view day which made to national news. Just checking out on the turtles, make sure they are safe. New gastronomic delight, ceviche. You can be easily so addicted to this, exactly what happened to us. One of the best experiences we had together was the boat ride with dolphins. By the way, Julia found this eco tour for us from Austria. With so many fluid groups of dolphins, which are called pods. Some of them minding own business, but some really wanted to play. Along with humans and apes, the dolphins are only creatures to show truly altruistic behavior. We saw mama and a baby twice. Was it papa? Who knows really? Dolphins love to ride on the wake. And apparently, the bigger the boat, the more fun they have. I can't, I can't anymore. What else can you do on the beautiful sunny day? Go on kayaking in the laguna, of course. The water was very shallow and made it even more interesting. We were studying the bottom, trying to find some treasures. No! <laughs> was it real flip? I don't know. Olga did it. As someone mentioned to us before, that could be American snowbirds housing. Quite a few were for sale, and we were very curious to see it from the backyard, Aka Water. Looks like a paradise for people who love ocean and fishing. Do you see this puking dolphin? The huge drive-in garages for boats. That's how Venice looks like in America. Wow. That wonderful day too came to an end. On the way back, we noticed the family of tiny Javelinas running away. Yeah. In Corpus Christi, we arranged to go shrimp fishing on the real, not touristic boat. I thought that dressing for success means not missing opportunity. No. We were dressed properly, but fishermen didn't care. Too windy for fishing. The second time we made it. Had to get up in unholy hour and we were ready to go around 6 a.m. Leaving downtown pier in total darkness, the water was very calm and we were watching spectacular sunrise and the following us dolphins. We had some time to take it in before the real job started. Can you believe this fisherman is normally working all alone? No other boats go fishing single-handed. Only his quiet dog Marina goes with him every day and seems like they are doing just fine. This day, however, we were ready to give him a hand. The drug net is going out. He has to pay attention to every single detail. The boat is still moving and there is quite a traffic around. The net has to be opened for release. All the catch is going to the tank with the running seawater. The net can contain anything, including garbage. Unwanted fish is going over the board to the water. Pleasure to see that fisherman is smart about the garbage. First, our guys needed some directions about placing different species, such as cutlass fish, a regular and mantis shrimp, the ray fish, the squid, the rockfish, crabs, the flounder, and many more. This is jumbo shrimp, the main target. This passenger pelican left us wondering, is he a real loser or a picky gourmand? Go figure. The dragnet was cast twice this day. That was a real hard work, an unforgettable experience. Guess what we had for dinner that day? By the way, remember that project we had started? This is how it turned out so far. On the way to the Houston airport, we stopped to enjoy some butterflies in the butterfly conservatory. It appeared they liked us as well. Who am I kidding? They liked the green color. And sometimes blue. And sometimes some other species. 
Soul would have no rainbow if the eyes had no tears, say Native Americans. I had some tears in my eyes because it was the end of the most amazing months. Thank you for everything. I love you all so much.